Grab the controller, sit your ass in the sofa. It's game time, baby. Crying Gamer. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Crying Gamer, in the building, baby. And if you don't know, now you know. You already know what it is, man. A lot of you already watched the reveal trailer. I'm gonna throw my two cents in, man. I'm gonna say right off the bat, the Crying Gamer is excited for this new entry into the series of Call of Duty. It's been long overdue that they put their boots back on the ground for this series of Call of Duty. That is what the hardcore original gamers want. We don't want to fly around in space. We don't want to jump off buildings. We don't want exoskeleton suits and all kind of beep. I'm gonna beat myself because it's broken this shit. Oh, sorry, beep. I was supposed to beat that. PG-13. Sound effects with my mouth. Anyway, um, Sledgehammer said that they, they've made sure that they went to the locations. They captured the sounds of the guns, the vehicles, just the atmosphere um, that it sounds so they, can, so they can have an authentic experience. So it sounds like that they are shooting for an authentic experience with this uh, World War II new COD game. Um, and I'm hoping that they can pull it off, man, because thinking back to World at War, the, the reason I, World at War actually was my favorite um, out of all of them. Reason being, I liked how gritty it was. I like my shooters to be gritty. I, I like the giblets. I like the arms coming off, the legs coming off in World at War. It, it was bloody. It, 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 it was how it was supposed to be. It was how it was supposed to be. And it seems like in these newer Call of Duties, they're going away from that. I mean, you got to bring the visceralness. Is that even the word? Visceralness? Back. Whatever, but I'm making it up now if it isn't. Back to the series. You got to feel the impact. And that's what they're saying. They're saying the guns are going to have impact. The, the, I mean, as far as when you shoot them, when the bullets hit, you're going to see the impact. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna see your, the damage that these bullets are doing, whether it be to the people, whether it be to the walls. And I'm really feeling that. I, I like the little reveal trailer. It looks real good. It seems like it seems like they're going. It's going to be the single player is going to be a real um, engrossing story. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a, a cookie cutter story because they said that they want to, you know, have the people feel the emotion of the squad and, and just go through the emotions of what it is to be fighting in that environment, that war torn environment, that desolate environment, that no hope environment. I can just imagine, you know, from just all the videos that we've seen of, of, of it and in, in the and in, in just the savagery of it. They're trying to bring that to the game, and I want them to bring that because I know they can do that. What I have to do is look at World at War and amplify that times 100. The music in World at War was just, woo, mm, wonderfully dark. It's talking about wonderfully dark. As far as the look, um, Sledgehammer mentioned that they want the game to be dark and beautiful. Dark with emotions, beautiful with atmosphere. Um, and I think that they are actually going to pull it off this time because Call of Duty's been slipping. And I don't think they want to slip off into oblivion and never be heard from again. They made their money, but I still think they want the legacy to, to, remain, to remain with the series. I feel like they're really going to bring it. Oh, by the way, this hat right here is fly. It is fly. I like it. I like it. Big up. Big up to y'all. Big up to y'all for the hat. Also, regarding the single player, they're going to be staying to the source material. Um, so they say, so no made-up stories. They're really going to dig in and, and try to get the authentic stories and bring these stories to us. And if they stay authentic, they will have a, 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 a realness to it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. The multiplayer. The multiplayer. They're going back down to the boots, man. So that's what I like. I'm excited for it because I, 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 don't, I really just don't want to be flying around in the sky and robots and all that stuff. Bring it back down to the basics. They said it's going to be about skills with the guns. I don't know what that means with skill streaks and all. I, I think there's still going to maybe be uh, kill streaks in there, but I think they're going to be real minimal. You're not going to be able to get a whole bunch of kills and really rely on that, but I also think they're going to make you work for those uh, kill streaks. That's what I hope. They make you work and just don't give them to you. For this type of game, the sound is very important, and I think they need to nail that to really bring the, the, the immersion into this, this uh, war-torn environment. Um, the graphics on the multiplayer should be dark. You need the giblets. You need to do the giblets and the arms and everything flying off. Have that on another level. Have the gore to another level because we don't want to 
you don't we don't want to water this down if you want the people to feel this game you don't want to water this down you want to go all out with this game sledgehammer so please go out all out with this game because the hardcore gamers from back in the day that used to play COD I want to come back to the series I want to I want to and I like what I see so I'm riding with you right now don't let me down sledgehammer don't let the COD players of old down Please don't let us down, man. I am rocking for y'all. I am cheering for y'all. Let's make this game excellent, okay? So with that said, guys, tell me what you want to see in this new COD. Leave it in the comments. Tell me what you thought about the reveal trailer that you guys and girls saw. Leave it in the comments. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Make sure you hit the little bell on notifications so you can see my videos. And I will see you on the next one, man. Peace. This hat is fly. I gotta turn it backwards. Oh, hold on. My head too big. Alright, this thing in the front. I'm out.